Mike, thank you for joining us today at the Dallas Safari Club convention. I wanted to visit with you about your ranch, the products that you chose to go with from Tejas, the insulation, quality, expertise, the mechanics of all that. Can you tell us a little bit about your place uh, in Texas? So I got a, a, a little over 100 acres out in East Texas that I've taken my kids out and my, now my grandkids for years. And we got to have a problem with neighbors, cows and things. And you know, Texas is a fence out state. I don't know if you know that. Okay. Or not. So yep. it's my job to fence everybody else's critters out. So if I had to clear my per perimeter, as which is a huge chore, to build a fence, I was going to go with high fence. And I got a couple quotes from different people with bulldozers and different ways of doing it. And I ran into John at, at maybe a wildlife, a Texas Parks and Wildlife thing, I don't remember. And okay. he started talking about this mulcher piece of equipment they had. So he perimeter mulched my entire, basically around close to two, mile, two miles, 9,000 feet of fence in about four days. Is that right? He did a great job of putting up a fence. It's, it's everything he said he would do when he said he was going to do it. I'm extremely impressed. Particularly with the predator wire. Yeah, let's talk about the predator wire and why that was so important to you on your property. Well, keeping cows out is pretty easy. Yeah. Say anything will do that, but uh, keeping hogs out is another deal. You know, it was not unusual to see 20 or 30 hogs in, at a feeder in any given picture. Mm -hmm. Well, and John got talking about the predator wire and how it came, when the fence came down and it went out, the hogs were standing on the wire so they couldn't go underneath. Sure. It. When he got done last year, about this time, since that period of time, we have not seen a single hog on the camera. There's no sign, there's no nothing. Is that right? That was amazing. That's great. Um, so last question I wanted to ask you is your experience in working with Tejas, both their whole crew, John, engineers, during the project, after the project, any value add um, to those? Well, they, they did an extremely professional job. You know, they quoted we walked it, we saw it, he quoted what we were going to do, he suggested things that I hadn't thought of, uh, and we worked through them. Of course, like everything, there's going to be some issues along the way, but we worked through those issues without real problems. There's a couple of auxiliary gates that I put in uh, for electric right away uh, that maybe didn't get there the day they were supposed to, but he kept me appraised of what was happening, had them up, up and hung within a couple of days of when he was supposed to. Mm -hmm. so. I'm very impressed. I like everybody that worked for him and all the people. Great. You know, he had a young kid, and I don't remember his name, but he was showing me the mulcher in action. It's an impressive piece of equipment. <laughs> the kid just loved driving around on it, you know. He has into his job, and he did wonderful work. I'm Great. pretty happy with it. All right, Mike, thank you for joining us. Great, Appreciate you having it.